Welcome. Thanks to all of you. Thanks, Thanks to all, all of you. you. I am an environmental journalist and professor. I, I am an environmental journalist, journalist and professor. professor. From the beautiful state of Kansas. From the beautiful state of Kansas. And I'm here to thank you for standing with farmers. And, and I'm here to thank you for standing with farmers. And all the organizations. And all the organizations. Representing over 300,000 people. Representing over 300,000 people. We are just steps away from the Supreme Court. We're, we're, we're just, just steps away, away from, from the Supreme Court. Court. That is making a powerful decision. That is making a powerful decision. That is choosing to stand with farmers. That, that is choosing to stand with farmers. And support them in growing safe, healthy food. And and so, I want to share with you today. I want to share with you today a little bit more information. A little bit more information about genetically engineered food. About, about genetically engineered food. And about the suit that is happening right now today. And about the suit that is happening right now today. We are not mindless. We are not mindless. We are powerful. Bring our food. The farmers that are growing our food are not mindless. Are not mindless. They feed us. They feed us. And they want something better. And they want something better. So we can nourish ourselves well. So that we can nourish ourselves well. The building blocks of our food system. The building blocks of our food system are seeds. Are seeds. The first line of today's complaint being filed in this court. The first line of today's complaint being filed in this court says, says, society stands on the precipice. Society stands on the precipice of forever being bound, of forever being bound to transgenic agriculture and transgenic food to transgenic agriculture and transgenic food. I want you to know what this means. I want you to know what this means. So when you speak about this food, so when you speak about this food, you speak powerfully and truthfully. You speak powerfully and truthfully. Transgenic crops, transgenic crops are a more precise term are a more precise term for what we call GMOs for what we call GMOs or genetically engineered crops or genetically engineered crops every hybrid plant every hybrid plant is genetically modified is genetically modified that's not necessarily the problem that's not necessarily the problem here comes the science here comes the science Transgenic seeds, transgenic seeds have been genetically altered. Have been genetically altered using recombinant, using recombinant DNA technology. DNA technology. These are molecules from different sources. These are molecules from different sources. Combined into one molecule. Combined into one molecule to create a new gene to create a new gene that would never occur naturally that, that would never occur naturally they are made in labs they, they are, are made, made in labs. labs they are not made in nature they, they are, are not made in nature 70 percent of our processed food 70 percent of our processed food contains these transgenic seeds contains these transgenic seeds and this number is growing. And this number is growing. One company. One company. Monsanto. Monsanto controls the genetics. Controls, controls the genetics of nearly 90 percent. Of nearly 90 percent of corn. Of, of corn. corn. Of soybeans. Of soybeans. Of cotton. Of cotton. Of canola. Of canola. And of sugar beets. And, and of sugar beets. Today, today, the OSGATA, the OSGATA, along with seed businesses, along with seed businesses, trade organizations, trade organizations, 
organizations and family farmers and family farmers have joined forces have joined forces to stand up to stand up against the contamination of farms against the contamination of farms with transgenic seeds with transgenic seeds the nature of the seed the, the nature of the seed is to drift is to drift and to pollinate and to pollinate Monsanto and other seed companies Monsanto and other seed companies are trying to stop this from happening are trying to stop this from happening something that occurs naturally something that occurs naturally by requiring farmers by requiring farmers to sign contracts to sign contracts for transgenic seeds for transgenic seeds and suing farmers and suing farmers who have not signed contracts who have not signed contracts when those seeds end up on their soil when those seeds end up on their soil seed patents seed patents occur in labs occur in labs not in nature not in nature farmers are being told farmers are being told they can't save their seeds they can't save their seeds this is what's happening in that courthouse right there this is what's happening in that courthouse right there we are working to protect farmers. We, we are, are working to protect farmers from lawsuits. From lawsuits by Monsanto. By Monsanto for seeds. For seeds. Transgenic seeds. Transgenic seeds ending up on their land. Ending up on their land. Farmers who are scared of these patents. Who are scared of these patents. Who are intimidated by these contracts. Who are intimidated by these contracts. And who are no longer able to grow the seeds they want to grow. And who are no longer able to grow the seeds they want to grow. Transgenic seeds. Transgenic seeds. Threaten organic crops. Threaten organic crops. Transgenic seeds. Transgenic seeds. Threaten conventional farmers. Threaten conventional farmers. Who are trying to grow food to feed their family and to feed our families. Trying to grow food to feed their family and to feed our families. We can't live without these farmers growing our food. We can't live without these farmers growing our food. Patent infringement. Patent infringement is what Monsanto says threatens our food system. Is what Monsanto says threatens our food system. But today is the day. But today is the day when we turn back from the precipice. When we turn back from the precipice of transgenic food and crops. Of transgenic food and crops. Today is the day. Today is the day when we return to each other. When we return to each other. When we say. When we say. Farmers. We stand with farmers and their right to grow the crops that feed us safely. And their right to grow the crops that feed us safely. Guaranteeing farmers' rights to grow food. Guaranteeing farmers' rights to grow food is done without fear. Is done without fear. Is done without intimidation. Is done without intimidation. Joining together. Joining together to build a healthier to build a healthier, a more just, a more just, and a more delicious, and a more delicious food system. Food system. Thank you. Thank you.